The company's been around, but they haven't been doing the same thing all this time. I don't think so anymore, right? But I was saying there was a there was a time period there when to me it looked like they might. Like there was a chance. And I was and I was scared that they could. I knew it was trading cards. I just don't consider that to be the exact same thing. Really? Jeez, that's a pretty big royalty. Doubt that I don't doubt that they're raking in the money, right? I just I just hope that they stay competing with the uh, I I hope they stay competing with the other two companies, and I hope that they don't accidentally run any of their flagships into the ground because uh, there have been some scares of that. Um, so that word there, about halfway through your sentence, I don't know what it means. Do you mean, do you mean Yu-Gi-Oh? I mean, how many Yu-Gi-Oh games have been for Nintendo systems? Oh, you mean relating to the trading card thing, so you do mean Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah. Yeah, that... The P threw me off. And I'm not sure how many Yu-Gi-Oh games have been for Nintendo systems. I imagine most of them. Uh, I just didn't really play the Yu-Gi-Oh video game. I watched the TV series and I collected some of the cards, but I was way more into Pokemon. My favorite version of that TV series was, uh, I think it was the third season. It was, uh, Dueling Academy. I liked that, I liked that series. shot. What does that do? I don't remember. User loses a flash of energy from his polished body. It may also lower the target's accuracy. Um, let's get rid of Roost. Huh. 
Are they really close enough to warrant that? That's interesting. I can't imagine all card games would fall under this uh, under this umbrella, right? Because like, I don't think Blizzard is, for instance, I don't I don't think Blizzard is paying Nintendo uh, through Konami any royalties because of uh, beca because of Hearthstone, right? So there must be something about certain card games that makes them close enough to. Uh, N Nintendo's Nintendo's licensing to to warrant this. I mean, that is pretty similar to, uh, that is pretty similar to Hearthstone, as far as the, the mana goes, but not the typing. Jeez, when does this Pokemon evolve? Alright, I'm gonna look this up. What the heck? Why does it... Why is some sort of Skype thing open? Let me figure this out. Quit Skype. Quit. There we go. Alright, let's look up Avid. Uh, Avid. Den. No, no, no. Avidin. Pokemon. Here we go. When do you evolve? Level 31. All right, we're close. Oh, they outright they outright own Sega now. I thought that I thought it was still sort of an open partnership. Uh, I know they made a deal for the next like three Sonic games or whatever, but I didn't realize I didn't realize it was outright ownership at this point. I thought that I thought Sega was able to still put games onto other consoles. I wonder how Namco's doing at this point. I haven't looked I haven't looked at their company records for a while. 
they have some sort of partnership with Nintendo at this point, too. No, I knew that they made a I knew they made a deal with I knew they made a deal with Nintendo, right? I didn't realize that he was outright owned uh, by Nintendo at this point. Yeah, I, I know it's technically Bandai Namco, but I'll always just call it Namco. It's shorter. It's like a nickname for the company. I don't know. It's like saying TF2 instead of Team Borges 2. Ah! Good, good, good. It's nice to have that, uh, nice to have that group all under one roof. Really, having, having Namco... Having Namco, Sega, and Nintendo all be one thing at this point is pretty amazing. You can't win them all. From what I can tell, though, at this point, Sonic is... Sonic is kind of, like, able to be in anything. Like, of all video game characters, he seems to be the one that, like, has shown up in the most cameos recently. That's how they started out. <laughs> That's why the PlayStation was a thing to begin with. it started out as a Nintendo product and then they were like, nah. So that's not exactly the best start to a healthy working relationship, but uh, eh, whatever. You know what one thing I am upset with Nintendo over though? I I'm not happy with the direction that uh, Paper Mario has gone in over the last few installments. Right, Super Paper Mario, uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star, and now this Color Splash, like. I'm one of the I'm one of the fans that would really like to see a true Paper Mario Thousand Year Door sequel, right? I want to get back to that. I want to have the partners again. I want to have the 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 normal turn-based battles with all of the with all the inventory systems and such. Like, in my opinion, the best one of 
the Paper Mario games is still Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Like it was, it was basically the same thing as the first one, but it had better graphics and there were some, there were some changes to the battle system that like kind of streamlined things. You could like change what order between you and your partner, your partner got HP instead of just being like sort of knocked out in one hit, for, but being knocked out f for just a turn or whatever. So like you had to strategize between what uh, what partner you had out at what time. And I'm I'm really sad to to see that Color Splash is basically going to be Sticker Star again. At least from what I can tell. If it comes out and it's not another Sticker Star, then uh, then I'll be very happy. But. I would I would like to see I would like to see Thousand Year Door 2 again. Well, not Thousand Year Door 2 again. I would like to see Thousand Year Door 2. But they're so they're so obsessed with innovation that uh, that they're not really not really staying true to that game's uh, that game's roots, and it, it makes me sad because Thousand Year Door is my favorite game. I enjoyed it a lot. Got three more levels left on Damasia. to mention by the way that I added here let me show you guys my background for a second whoops that's not the right one I added uh, I added Lycan Rock to the background here is now over there with Giratina uh, because he is now one of my one of my favorites I still need to see... I still need to see a fighting type that I'm super into. And I wish that there was a water type that I liked better than, uh, than the ones that are there right now. want from a water type though. Like I want a water type that one of the things that turns me off of most water types is I want I want my main water type to be one that doesn't have to float on land. 
right? So most of the water types are fish. And so when they're on land, they're just floating. As if they were flying or swimming in the air. But that's not what I want. And I want it to be... I want it to be big enough that it can realistically carry me in the water with with surf, but I also want it to be small enough that it could, like, be in a house and not be just a blob. Uh, like, I want it to actually have legs. Like, uh, like, Lapras is pretty close, right? But it doesn't have, it, 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 like, just sits on the ground and it would have to like scoot itself along if it was to try to go on the ground um and you know gastrodon falls falls under that uh same category that's why the closest thing i have to a favorite water type is wartorb right its main problem though is that it's uh is that it's a little bit small but Blastoise is, is really big. And it's a little bit too stocky. I don't like how little Blastoise's arms get. It feels like it can't really use them anymore. Probably need to have some sort of some sort of dual type to it. I'm not sure what dual type, but some dual type that was like kind of cool. Yeah, I want I want my water type to be sort of sort of medium-sized Pokemon. dual type and able to walk that's how I should that's how I should say the like not floating and not scooting I want it to be able to walk walk on land There's more water type representation than any other type in the game, but hopefully, hopefully I'll finally get the water type I want in uh, in the Alola region. Does that mean it's Hawaii? If I can't find a water type there, I'm, uh, there's there's no hope for me. I'll just forever not like any water types beyond my starter. <laughs> Prinplup was pretty close. Also, being a penguin, that helped it out a lot. But I didn't like the look of Empoleon enough. sometimes right now but I don't really like it too much I just use it because it's a water type I can use on my monotype ghost team I'm 
think a better ghost water type would be really nice. I'm not sure what form it would take, though. I mean, I finally got... I, in the last region, I finally got the grass type I've been hoping for for years, and that and that ended up being Gorgeist. I wanted a ghost grass pumpkin, uh, and Gorgeist isn't how I would have done it, but I've I've fallen in love with how how they did it. I, I never would have imagined up Gorgeist myself, uh, and I I think that's pretty cool too. Uh, it's nice because. Because sometimes, sometimes when you have that kind of idea, or, uh, I mean, let me restart this sentence. Sometimes I'll see a, uh, a new thing come out on a, on a game, and I'll be like, Aw, oh, man, I would have totally thought of that in, like, five years or something. You know, that's totally the idea, that's totally the kind of idea I would have come up with eventually. But, uh, but I wouldn't, I, I know I wouldn't have come up with a Wargeist. Because the idea of using the butternut squash, uh, I would, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought of that. Or, I, I don't think it's actually, I don't think it's actually a butternut squash. I think it's some other kind of gourd that I don't remember the name of right now. But butternut squash is a little bit too big at the top. It's actually a gourd that has a has a neck like that. All right, how's Demacia doing? It's level twenty nine, almost level thirty. Also, I think in the, I think in the, in the text below, in the about me, I think I'm gonna change my favorite dark type from, uh, from Sableye to Zoroark. I think as, I think I like Sableye less as a, less as a dark type and more as a ghost type, right? I think, I think as far as liking a Pokemon as a dark type, I think I like Zoroark more. I like Sableye as a Pokemon more than Zoroark, but I think that... I think that that's less due to him being a dark type than it than it is for Zor Zoroark. Does that make sense? I know I talked in circles for a little bit there, but... I basically tried to say it a few different ways so that I, hopefully one of them made sense. I still can't believe we started out the stream catching a catching a shiny again. That's so awesome. I want to see more Pokemon get leaked. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what Mons there are. I want. I want Nintendo to unite me with. With m more Pokemon that I that I that I love. Oranguru looks pretty cool. Might become my favorite normal type. To be honest, because because uh, it's pretty nice, and uh, and I don't really like normal types too often.
I wonder if Spook Kitty was ever just planned. I want. I wonder if Spook Kitty was ever just planned to be a grass type. It'd be interesting seeing a pure grass type version of this, where it has like it has like a normal tail and its two legs are are normal versions of the legs too. I, I would love to play Pokemon X or Y, but I don't. I, uh, I mean, I would love, I would love to play Pokemon Y, but I don't actually have the, uh, the game. I, uh, I had to pass up on that last generation's uh, actual main series uh, game cartridges because I couldn't afford them. Oh no, let's let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Is Garurul a giraffe? And he's named Jarul. Jarul. Yeah, I I would have picked Y. I would have picked Y as my uh, as my one. My I might I might be able to get a copy from my brother eventually, because he actually has two copies. My, my little brother has two copies of, uh, of of the game. I don't know. I don't know if he has an X and a Y or what. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I know he at least has one X. I don't know if he also has a Y, but uh, I know he has another copy of that generation. And I might ask him eventually for the other, the other copy that he's not using, because I would, I would like to have that game to be able to play it. Especially if I can't get Sun and Moon right away, I might ask him for it. The problem is he'll have to mail it to me because he actually lives in another country than me right now. My whole family's living in Italy. Meanwhile, I'm. I'm here, stuck here in uh, in the states, New England area. It's nice here, though. Man, but they live on like the side of a mountain. I've gone and visited them twice: once in the summer and once in the winter, and it's beautiful there. It's just. From what I can tell, it's just beautiful there all year. Oh man, thank you. I, I I hope I'll be able to I hope I'll be able to stream it for you guys. Cause uh Cause like that would be the that would be the end goal of of all that, right? Be able to be able to stream it so that you guys can you guys can see me play Sun and Moon kind of right when it comes out. That would help the the channel grow a lot uh, because people want to see the new game, and I would I would be able to experience everything for the first time right there with you guys.
Oh! That's not a problem at all. Now granted, I can't guarantee that the battles will be much fun because it takes me a long time to get my team together. Uh, so you, a lot of times you'll, oh hey, Demacia is evolving. A lot of times you would probably be battling not, not great teams. I love the I love the cries by this family. This family of Pokemon have great cries. I have a question. Would would you be interested at all in seeing me stream Pixelmon. And if you're not aware with what Pixelmon is, Pixelmon is Pokemon in Minecraft. It's a it's a mod for Minecraft. Gotcha, gotcha. Whoops. Oh, hey, I can store items. There are no items. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I, I could always do that on this game. I know it's not something really great to stream, but I do do it a lot. Like, I play Pixelmon, like, every day. Even when I don't play, even when I don't stream, I play Pixelmon. It's something that I just do. Um, let's see, Twit. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting to the Pokemon storage this time. I've done it a million times, but I just can't do it right now. Alright, let's put Splendafile away. I mean, Demacia! Alright. Now who are we gonna do? Let's check the Pokédex. Oh, it's time for Cub Bug! Alright. Let's see, where is Kabug? I guess it's under Bug. That would make sense. Yeah, I could do that. I'm just... I'm just way more into streaming now than, uh... Than I am doing Let's Plays. Alright, I'm still kind of burnt out on the whole Let's Play thing because... It didn't, it didn't feel like, it got way too stagnant. It didn't feel like I was, I was growing at all. It didn't feel like anyone cared to watch what I was, what I was putting out. Plus, when you make, when you make a uh, Let's Play, it's an entirely different, hello Larry. I don't wanna, I don't wanna rematch. Thank you, though. When you make a Let's Play, it's gotta feel like a finished product, right? You're kind of responsible for editing out the boring parts and the parts that are, that are not as entertaining as they could be. But when you stream, you just come and you play the game. Right, you just stream. I forgot to put the XP share on the Pokemon. Whoops. Let's try that again with XP share. 
Cub Smash. I forgot we named it Cub Smash. Oh, this is interesting. Seeing all the all the nicknames of the old Pokemon again. done I've never really done like an official collaboration on YouTube I only ever I only ever did I did like kind of a collaboration once um, and that was on TF2 I forget the name of the guy I did it with. I have him on Steam. And I collaborated with Mr. Bat at this a lot, but he he doesn't really upload anything to his YouTube channel. Shady Penguin. Hmm. I might see about that. But right now I'm still Right now, I'm still way more interested in just doing streaming than making Let's Plays. So, I suppose for now, I'll just keep the Pixelmon to, uh, to myself. Because I'm playing on, I'm playing on a server, right? Uh, and I'm really enjoying my time there on the server. Get rid of String Shot. And I mostly just want to allow people to to come on to the to the server and like come hang out with me as I as I do stuff in my little town and things like that. Maybe challenge me. I'm trying to put a gym together. So far, I've got my Gengar and my uh, Miss Magius and I'm almost I'm almost done breeding Litwick up I just haven't quite had the stars aligned for the exact Litwick that I that I need I've even got one with perfect 100% IVs but it didn't have the nature that I needed Right. Got a kibble fly. Forty gems? What do you even do for forty gems? You have all the types, and then I guess you have uh I guess you have combinations of the types. And like you can do an Eevee gem. You can do fossil Pokemon theme gym. What else can you do? I don't know. How do you even plan 40 gyms? That's a lot of gyms. Right now I'm I, I've just f pretty much finished building my, uh, like, building the actual building for the gym. It's basically a giant pumpkaboo, but the head is replaced with a, with a mansion, with, like, a haunted house. And, uh, inside, it's a, it's a pit all the way down to bedrock, uh, with a, with a black glass floor. So it looks like you're just gonna fall straight down. It's inspired by the Erecutique City Gym. Uh, but, there, but the platform in the middle is a giant candle. Uh, and there's like other quartz candles uh, floating around uh, in the pit and stuff. Yeah, 
And there's there's some other decorations and stuff too, but that's the gist of it. Let me I'm gonna look up when Cobblefly evolves. Hey, Pokemon Uranium Wiki has gotten like better. It's gotten better pictures. That's pretty cool. Level 24. Oh, that's not too bad. Level 24 is a decent time to uh, to get another evolution. I can do that. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a giraffe. So it's supposed to be Jararul. I think that's supposed to be a I think that's supposed to be a J sound with the G instead of a instead of a normal G sound. two hours. There we go. wish that there was a uh, that there was a place around here that had that had wild sableye at a decent level for training at Pokemon but I think all of the areas that have sableye are kind of low level areas but I would love to have the chance of coming across a shiny sableye just because Shiny Sableye is kind of cool for for the stream. I don't need to. I don't need to evolve. thing that I want to do the most is be a gym leader and so far the the best chance of that I seem to have is is being a, uh, a gym leader on a pixelmon server but I'd love to find I'd love to find a group of people in my area that I can like play Pokemon games with. Like I'd, li I'd like to find a league in my area, um, and I'm sure there is one. I just I just don't know where to even begin. Uh, no, I don't want Stun Spore. Uh, but I'd love to be a gym leader. In, oh, sleep powder. Yes. I'll totally get rid of charm. But yeah, let me see. I don't know where that 
that file is. I, there, there's no way I'll be able to find it. But uh, I've, I've designed, I've designed my own gym, right? And I've designed it. I've designed, I've designed like a game gym. Uh, as far as like what Pokemon I would use. Uh, depending on if I was the first through eighth gym, so like if the tr if the trainer already has a badge, if they have seven badges, if they don't have any badges yet, blah blah blah. Uh, I've I've adjusted. Uh, I've made a team for each of those each of those levels, and. Uh, and I also designed a badge. It's uh, it's like a piece of candy with a jack-o'-lantern face on it, and it has a top hat on it. And I call it the treat badge. You know what? I should put the I should put the treat badge in uh, in the stream somehow. There should be something in the stream about getting a treat badge.
heal up. I feel like I'm running low on PP at this point. I've done a lot of battles. How's our egg doing? Let's check up on our egg. It appears to move occasionally. It may be close to hatching. All right. Wow, it's been 20 days since we got that. Jeez. Oh man, wait a minute. Does it show? Wait a minute, what? Oh, I get it, it's reversed. Okay. So man, we got... We started playing this game on the 17th. Of, not even of this month on the 17th of August really we've been playing for over a month Wow huh I did not know that You know, the unfortunate thing about doing this whole Pokédex thing is that I'm not actually getting XP to anybody but Spookitty and this and whatever one I'm currently leveling up. I wish I had a second experience share. That way I could put one on I could put one on the Pokémon I'm leveling up. And I could put the other one on the, like, actual party member I'm leveling up. I think I need to have meddling sight on my on Spookitty right now. I think I can I think I can safely train in this area uh, without Mega Evolving. Where's the lucky egg? There it is. 